Hi, Glenn Miller from Quabba Fins headquarters here in Margaret River, Western Australia. In our efforts to explain the point of difference between standard fins, and I'm meaning those fins that we've all been riding for the last 40 years, no matter what size or template shape, versus the new technology of Quabba fins, we've released this, we're, we'll be releasing a series of short videos to work towards that point of difference explanation. However, to start with, we'll start with how single fins work. Go back to the basics there. Imagine that water is flowing from the uh, front of the surfboard to the, to the leading edge of the fin. This is the trailing edge, it's the leading edge. As the water moves around each side of the, the fin, and remember a single fin is foiled equally each side, so the water has to move basically the same speed this size as it does that side, you will get a lower pressure occurring at either side because the water is moving faster than it. And wherever there's a, a faster moving uh, water or fluid, there shall be a lower pressure. So therefore, this lower pressure causes the fin to want to lift, but it's lifting equally to the left and to the right. And that gives tremendous stability to the surfboard. It gives stability over and above forward thrust. And uh, therefore, the single fin is an instrument of, of stability. The thruster fin system, and or three-finned configuration, was invented by Simon Anderson back in about 1980. At that time, Simon made three basic changes to fin systems. What he did was he placed the rear fin, basically at the back of the board. It was a, it was a smaller, much smaller fin than the traditional rear fins at that time. It was double foiled, so foiled each side of it. So predominantly just had lift at 180 degrees to each other, therefore it was very stable. But he also put these two side fins on, and the two side fins, or thruster fins, were sort of like half fins. One side, the outside, was much more foiled than the inside. So therefore, when water was traveling around the outside, it had to move at a greater speed because it was traveling at a greater distance, therefore there was a lift. But by towing in or turning in the nose of the, 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 the fin, the leading edge of the fin, say about three and a half degrees, by turning it into the board, it's called towing, what he did was the lift moved from being 180 degrees to each other to forward of that, forward of centre. So it's like if you're getting towed or pulled, my arms are being pulled 180 degrees, there's no forward thrust. But if I'm three and a half degrees and they're pulled, my arms are pulled apart, I tend to move forward. And that's what happened. He gave thrust to the entire surfboard and therefore they became faster, had more drive and uh, had uh, a great ability to turn in short spaces, the thruster system. Thank you.